guys, Crystal Levanma here. So I'm sure you've been watching the news. You've probably noticed that interest rates are going up and home prices are going up. And you might be thinking to yourself, dang, did I miss the boat? Is it too late to buy a house? The answer, of course, is no. Uh, home prices are always gonna go up. That's really the point of it. If you look back in the 50s, you could buy a home for $7,000. And granted, the homes were a little bit smaller then, a little more modest, but still, $7,000 is what they cost. So if you went and asked somebody back then, hey, uh, do you think you can ever afford a $250,000 house? They would say, are you crazy? That's like a mansion. But right now, it's just a starter home. So it's a little bit of a matter of perception. But here's the bottom line. It's been shown time and time again that homeowners tend to have more wealth than renters. There's a lot of reasons why it's easier to build wealth when you own your home versus throwing away your money on rent. And so that's a, that's something that you want to get in on, right? But it's like a merry-go-round and it just feels like it's going faster and faster and maybe you just can't figure out how to get on the ride. Well, here's a couple of things to make it easier for you. Some things to keep in mind. So first of all, rates right now are, yes, they're going up, but they're still very low, historically low. And even if we see the kinds of increases we're thinking this year are going to happen, rates are still gonna be on the low end historically. So the money is still pretty cheap to borrow. Second, you, the money is easier to get, okay? You don't have to have perfect credit. You can have like a reasonable credit score and there's a lot of low down programs. So you don't have to put 20% down like they did in the old days for that $7,000 house. They probably had to put $1,400 down, 20%. Right now you can get in for an FHA loan for three and a half percent. You can get in with a small investment, get on the merry-go-round and start building wealth. Couple tips to help you out, okay? First of all, biggest thing, start small. Buy the house you can afford. Maybe you want the four bedroom, three bath, 2,500 square foot house with a pool. Maybe that's ultimately where you're gonna end up. But maybe you can only afford a townhome right now. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a two bedroom condo. Maybe that's all you can get right now. That's what you buy. Get on board. Get that home and start building equity. And then you can work up, right? You build equity, reinvest that into a little larger home, build more equity faster because you've got more invested, and then use that to build into your dream home, right? Ultimately, the way to build wealth is to pay your house off. Just pay it off. It might be tough for a lot of people, but definitely if you can help pay your house off, uh, own it free and clear, it's huge, huge. Don't waste your equity on paying off credit cards or taking a vacation. That's your nest egg. That's your treasure chest for your future. So guard that and take that money and reinvest it. And a great way to do that would be to diversify by other homes and let other people pay your mortgages so you can build even more equity. It's, that's the way people build wealth in real estate. So here's an example. Let's just say you do buy a townhome. Let's say it's a $200,000 townhome and you keep it for five years and let's say it appreciates at about 5%. So in five years, you're gonna have about $45,000 in equity plus you've paid your loan down by an additional $12,000. You now have $56,000 to invest, right? You can sell the townhome, you can use that money to buy another home and maybe this time you put down uh, a 20%, you put all the eggs in that basket so you're not paying mortgage insurance. It's a $280,000 house, maybe it's not your dream home, but you keep it for a few more years, build up a little more equity, and then buy the bigger home. Eventually you're gonna get to that point where you're gonna get a home that meets your needs, right? And then work to pay it off. That's how you build wealth. The key to all of this is to jump on that merry-go-round. So if you want a few tips on how to get a running start, well, you know where to find me, Kristen at hereinphoenix.com. That's where. Go out there, make it a beautiful day.